where I'm coming from and the advantage that they're taking from me, they have to just pick me and make an example with me with a manipulation. I don't like that. I didn't earn any, even any money. They must not even take it there. They must not. There are people that they must set example with that I've been eating money like from long time ago. I don't want any money from any department. I only work for my own money. I only got my own bookings. They don't do a favor to book me. I deserve it. But now and then they have to use me as an example. No, I can't allow that. I can't allow that. I can't. I can't. Even now, they are calling. I can't answer any call. I can't do that. The same people that are calling me here, they want still to want to manipulate me. I can't do that. To use me as an example, I cannot allow that. I didn't eat any money. They must reveal the real people that ate money for them for the department. They must reveal the real names for the people that way funded unlawfully. If I have to die for this, I must die. It's okay. I can't do that. I cannot allow that. I can't. I cannot do that. I've been doing a lot of things that need funding, but no one has been funding me. And I was okay with that. I've never said it. I kept quiet. And still, my statement, I'm not saying it because I want money. I don't want any department money. I work hard. I go to the studio. I record good music. People support me. People book me. I want that money from the bookings. I feel it when I receive it because I worked hard for it. I don't want free money. I don't want it. I was not even fighting for it. I was just being true to myself, telling the truth, being myself. So because of people, they, I use people to lie to them, living fake life, and then they want me to live a fake life. I can't do that. I've never came to the industry to live my fake life. I've never done that. I've never. Shoot, sure, guys, my heart literally breaks for Omakadze because she is one of the most talented and hard-working artist i know and for the department to be taking her for a ride and for granted like this is really um it's disrespectful you know and so from the first video which i inserted for you guys to see that was umakadzi basically trying to clear out her name Guti, guys i am literally not one of those artists who wrongfully benefited from the government funds so she has been trending after she came forward to reveal that guys i literally have to go to umashonisa merely because i did not have imali because usaz has been taking imali yami yonke and i did not get any help from anyone so i had to go to umashonisa so that i can borrow some money from them and then attend the BET. And then the newly appointed Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture, Ugeitin McKenzie, decided, okay, guys, um, I'm giving you instructions to release all the artists and sports people who benefited from uh, the department funds and umakazi was one of the people who was put on the name list for you guys and they stated that she received about two hundred and thirty thousand rands as a form of support from the department Gandhi. all this while they are lying that was actually money uh, for makazi's performances and appearances not that they were giving her free of charge to say we are supporting you as an artist you guys and I'm happy that even the AFF is in support of this. This is something that they have written on their statement. They're saying that instead of addressing uh, their stance on official supporters, the Department of Arts, uh, Sports, Arts and Culture chose uh, to deflect uh, by disclosing the amount of money they paid to Umakazi for her performances and uh, for her appearances. This attempt to portray these payments as a form of support is both disingenuous dis and 
reprehensible. Uh, let us be clear, the payments made to Umakazi were for professional servit- services rendered and um, not gratitude support. Uh, to ensure otherwise, it is to undermine her achievements and um, hard work. So the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture uh, School focuses on addressing um, the numerous instances of mismanagement and corruption within their purview. Okay, so basically we all know Julius Maloma is always in support of people that are wrongfully accused like Umakazi. So I'm really happy that he also is in a support of Umakazi because she's really going through a lot. Even on her Instagram, she has been posting and she's been really emotional over this entire situation. You guys, so these are the news of the hour. Your thoughts, please guys, let's just engage and I will surely come back with yet another update. Bye.